Welcome to Sheet Director. We're excited to introduce our innovative Google Workspace add-on. Simplify data exchange between apps with Sheet Director, query data, post info from Sheets to apps, and keep everything in sync. In this video, we will see how Sheet Director can help you to automate the integration between Google Sheets and Pipedrive. Let's launch Sheet Director and choose Pipedrive from the available list of applications. I will provide the Pipedrive API key here for authentication and then click on the Connect to Pipedrive button. Now authentication got completed. I will name the service as Pipedrive Query Service. I'll then choose the service named Query, which gets the data of selected objects from the Pipedrive. I'll choose the People object and then select the required fields from the fields list. We can also apply the filters by choosing the options from the drop-down. For now, I am not selecting any filters. We also have a sort by option, I want to sort the results by name in ascending order. So I will select name as the field and ascending as the operator. Additionally, I'll also set the max results to 25, limiting the people data to 25. For the destination settings, I'll select the query people's sheet tab to present all the values from pipe drive. By default, it begins from cell A1. Also, we have the option to create a new sheet by clicking on the plus icon and turn on or off the include header and clear sheet before getting the peoples. I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Upon successful execution, we can see that the selected fields from the list are effectively brought from the pipe drive and seamlessly presented within the selected sheet. Now, let's look at how to create Pipedrive peoples from Google Sheets. Now, let's make another service and name as Pipedrive Post Service for creating the Pipedrive peoples from the sheet. I will choose the Post Service. Then I will select a specific entity from the list. At this point, I have the choice to use an existing template or set up the process manually. For now, I'll opt for the template. Applying the template will automatically populate sample data to the spreadsheet and it will establish automatic mapping using the template. This mapping guides us on where to place the resulting information in the status and result columns. In the sheet, you'll notice columns labeled status and result. These fields will provide you with the status of the posted records. If these fields are not there, these can be easily created by clicking on the plus button or choosing from the column dropdown. The mapping aligns the fields between the sheet and the pipe drive. We can manually map by using the column dropdown to create a new mapping you can simply click on the plus icon. Deleting a field mapping is as easy as clicking the delete icon above each mapped field, except for mandatory fields. Feel free to use this sample template data and make any necessary updates. Now, I will proceed to execute by clicking on the execute button. Initially, the status in the status column will indicate ready to post. Upon execution, the execution control panel will appear and tell us how many records are ready to post in the pipe drive. At this point, we have two options, post now and close. I will click on post now, which will create the peoples in pipe drive. After successful execution, each record will be updated individually in the status and result columns. And we can see all the posted records in pipe drive. Let's prepare a new service named Pipedrive Sync. This synchronizes the people between Google Sheets and Pipedrive. I'll choose Synchronize as a service type. The Synchronize service allows users to automatically synchronize the data between Google Sheets and Pipedrive. I'll choose People's object from the list and then select the necessary fields from the provided fields list. To ensure efficiency, I'll set the max results to 25, restricting to only 25 pipe drive peoples. The synchronization process requires that synchronize keys to match rows in Google Sheets with corresponding data in pipe drive. You must select the synchronized keys in the fields list. 
It is essential to note that, these keys are mandatory, for the synchronization to occur. When there is a conflict between different data in Google Sheets and Pipedrive for the same data, either side needs to be overwritten to maintain synchronization. You can opt for either Pipedrive wins or Google Sheet wins to choose which data to keep. In the Pipedrive wins scenario, the most recent data from Pipedrive will overwrite and update the corresponding people in Google Sheets. On the other hand in the Google Sheet wins, the most recent data from Google Sheets will overwrite and update the corresponding data in Pipedrive. First, let me choose Google Sheet wins. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will opt for the Sync People's Sheet tab, and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the service, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. The Execution Control Panel will appear. If no records are found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the Sheet Director will get the peoples for us. A prompt will appear, posing the question, Your Google Sheet seems to be empty. Do you want to get the records from Pipedrive first? At this point, two options will be presented, Get Now or Close. You have to select the Get Now option, which will fetch the peoples, from Pipedrive. As mapping is supported at Sync Service, mapping aligns the fields, between the synchronization sheet and the Pipedrive. So now it is asking for intelligent mapping. As the organization name is a mandatory field here it is asking to map only that field. By clicking Yes, it will automatically map both app fields and sheet fields. For now, I will choose No and do mapping manually so that I can map as many as fields I need. We can manually map by using the column drop-down. To create a new mapping you can simply click on the plus icon and select Field. Here I will do mapping for all the fields that I have in Sheet. If you already have Pipedrive data in Google Sheets, then you need to select or establish columns to display synchronization status and results. By clicking the plus symbol, I will add the status and result columns to the sheet and make any necessary updates to update the peoples. For some of the peoples I will update, the organization value to Wipro and update their name value. And you can see the current organization value and name of one of the people in Pipedrive. Subsequently, I will click the Execute button. Upon successful execution, the Execution Control Panel will reappear, with synchronization details. Number of new records found in Pipedrive. Total records that are ready to synchronize, from the Google Sheet. How many records will be updated in the pipe drive from the total records? Additionally, I will be asked, are you okay to synchronize? This query is accompanied by two buttons, sync now and close. I will opt for the sync now button. Throughout the execution process, each record will be updated individually within the pipe drive. Upon successful update, the status column in Google Sheets will depict the status of the data. Newly updated data will be marked as synced successfully, while pre-existing data will be indicated as already synchronized. We can see that updated people in Pipedrive. The name and organization values are updated here. Now, let me choose Pipedrive wins. With the Pipedrive wins option, recent data of Pipedrive will be updated in Google Sheets. I will clear both the status and result column values to get new updates of records. For testing this, I will change the organization value of one of the people to HCL and name value to John. Now it should update the recent value from the pipe drive. Regarding the synchronization sheet, I will keep the same sync people's sheet tab and by default, it will begin from cell A1. After configuring the settings, let us execute by clicking on the Execute button. After executing, the Execution Control Panel will appear and show all the information regarding the update. If the selected sheet is empty, the Sheet Director will get data. I will again click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. Throughout the successful execution process, each record will be updated individually. We can notice that the value on Google Sheets is replaced by the recent values from Pipedrive irrespective of the update made on the Google Sheets. Also, the new people data will be fetched from the pipe drive if we added new people to pipe drive.
Until this point, we observed the synchronization of pipe drive peoples originating from cell A1. Now, let's modify the cell value to B5. Select another empty sheet for testing and proceed with the synchronization process. If no records are found in the Google Sheets to synchronize, then the sheet director will get the people's data for us. I will click the Get Now button to get the pipe drive peoples. If you already have pipe drive peoples data in Google Sheets, then you need to establish the status and result column for synchronization. And then proceed with execution by clicking on Execute button. Upon successful execution, the execution control panel will reappear with the synchronization details. I will click on the Sync Now button to continue the synchronization. After successful synchronization, you can see the status of each record individually in the Google Sheets. In this way, you can synchronize data from any part of your Google Sheets. With Sheet Director, you effortlessly harness the magic of pipe drive peoples. Seamlessly query, display, and transform your Pipedrive people's data right within Google Sheets. Experience the future of organization and data synergy with the Sheet Director. Thanks for watching the video.